Welcome back to Kiwi Tech. Today we're looking at Arrow ROM for the GT i9 500. Right, so let me go into the ROM itself and show you what it's running, what baseband. Okay, so about device, we can see that it's running Android 4.2.2. This is Arrow ROM from Arrow, from XDA Developers, version 2, and build number, there you go. So this is the latest build number as of today, and that's the baseband, MF3. Uh, now I am running a custom kernel, so this is uh, Pegasus kernel. And we can show you that Pegasus kernel uses S tweaks. And within inside this application, we can have a clock our CPU. So I've got it set for 1.7, stock was 1.6, and I've also overclocked the GPU to 600. There you go. So you can overclock that even further if you want, if it's stable for your device. We also have a few other settings within Pegasus kernel, like the visual enhancements, we have audio enhancements, so you can tweak the volume output and we have IO input output and we see the kernel details there. Now some more tweaks that I have got um, I'm running cool tool so the top left you can see a little bit of information about um, my SD card etc and I'm also using a mod called three minute which gives me the transparent status bar and you can just flash that and clock it mod recovery so that does change the ROM a little bit um, right, now if we actually go into the ROM and have a look, we can see that the phone and the messaging icon are slightly different. So these are based on a CM or a sort of clean Google feel, and so is the settings icon. Those are not the Samsung stock images, they are slightly different, and there's also the contacts image. Right, you can also see my font is slightly different. This is Sony Sketch. That is a flashable zip as well, which is on Arrow's thread at XDA Developers. Now, if we go into Settings and the pull-down taskbar, we can see that the theme is a very clean feel to it. All the options are the same, except the colour is different, and it's it's more of a uh, almost a stock feel. Looks almost like CM, doesn't it? So within this ROM, we have Arrow tools. We have Multi Manager, CSC. Um, and we have a few other settings that we can change over the year updater doesn't quite work as yet But I'm sure that'll kick in very soon. Maybe version 3 Right now if I pull down the taskbar you can see that uh, again the font and The theme throughout is a uh, very Achaean sort of look Again an almost stock Android feel to it. Uh, the clock on the top left corners doesn't quite fit now that's actually not a problem with the ROM, that's a three minute uh, flash or zip that you apply later on. Now it's very clean, it's very quick against transitions. Now that's because it's a combination of one arm light and crash ROMs. Now if I hold in the power button you can see the theme is consistent throughout this. And you can also if I click on restart, you can see that the options are all the same sort of theme as well. Now, all features of this ROM work because this is running the Samsung based ROM, so it's TouchWiz. So what that means is all the Samsung features work, like Air Gesture, Smart Stay, Smart Pause, Smart Scroll, uh, and Air View. So let me just go into the gallery and show you that they, these do work indeed. Quickly go into an image and I'll swipe across the screen using the sensor at the top and you can see it does move through screen to screen. So that's a very quick look at Arrow ROM. This is version 2. He's putting out version 3 very soon. Uh, I've got a link in the description to his thread at XDA forums. Uh, check it out. It's If you like a clean feel but it's Samsung based then this is the ROM for you. Oh.